know you guys are getting back in gear, ready to get your hiking shoes dusted off. Uh, the weather's finally getting nicer and you can get out on the trail, especially Red River Gorge. I can't wait to head over there. So today we're gonna talk about some hiking shoes. Um, the shoe review I have today is Columbia and I wanna talk about why I like it and why I don't. First up, I actually love the stability in the rear foot. You can see I'm trying to do my like, my like torque test here. It's perfect, it's not shifting a lot. So if you think about when you're hiking, you're on a lot of uneven terrain. This type of shoe is gonna be very stable, especially if you have weak ankles or any um, history of ankle sprains, things like that. Plus, I love that it's a high top. Um, I personally have Solomon's and we'll do another kind of shoe review in the future so I can show you those too. Those are low tops, so probably not the best for someone that has um, ankle joint instability but the traction on both of them, this is great. This is gonna be perfect whenever you're walking around and you need a little extra grip if it's been raining or just kind of like a little muddy area or something like that. Lace up I love too. If you have any prominences like on the top of your foot, we can alter the laces or you can at home um, to allow for any kind of area that will be pressing down from the material because there's a nerve that runs right over the top here and a lot of times it's over, it's right over top of that bony prominence. So the higher the arch or if you have arthritis or something like that, that's gonna really irritate it. So what you can do, you can see that um, lace here is like a crisscross. What you wanna do is go straight up and just identify the prominence. You know, you don't have to put a marker, maybe like a little sticker or something right over it and then just line it up with the um, eyelets of the shoe laces and then just go straight over top of it. And then you continue to crisscross again. So that's what you wanna to do to um, offload any kind of bony prominences. What I don't like about it, when I pull this insert out, there is nothing to it. I mean, this is your arch support. As you can see, not working at all. So what I would recommend either getting a nice over-the-counter insert such as a foot step or quadra step, um, or of course putting your custom orthotic directly into it. Depending on the type of foot you have, if it's a flat foot or a high arch, um, that contour is definitely gonna be different. High arch people, this is gonna be horrible for you. I think you're gonna get a lot of fatigue um, throughout the day, depending on the number of miles you're putting on your feet that day. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, please drop them below. Happy to get back with you and um, get you ready and gear for spring so you can get out there hiking. All right, see you guys soon.